Well, this is an unexpected development. The cat turned Pichu melted after long exposure to the P virus, but now the test subject has reformed and split into two cats. We will need to examine this phenomenon further before global distribution. Uh, excuse me, but <laughs> I'm a mouse, not a cat. Thank you. You look. I mean, your ears are too. Your ears are too pointed to be a mouse. And no, I'm, now I'm just. I, I'm just saying, like. You know, you, you could just say something like one of them went to hang with their family, one of them had errands to run. It, it's not that hard. I got the vaccine! Yay! Yo, yay! I will say, this development is interesting. I'll get mine I, soon. This development is interesting. I shall take over your research. Mwahahaha! <laughs> dun 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 dun! Perkin, so, when did you get it here? And he, just, and he just says that he's, while he's in the shower. The hell's that going oh, on? Oh, jeez. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Oh. Uh, everyone's oh. back, just in time to see the zombie nomin on another zombie. Oh, oh you Maybe we should just leave. Oh, oh. 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 I was going to say, maybe we could have just left this device. Yeah, so welcome back to... We, we finished off all of our errands in the guardhouse, so now we're back to the mansion to... Uh, have you finished those fin errands? Have no. you finished those errands? Finish those errands. So, so, yeah, so now, we're, so now James is back in the mansion to finish what he started. Yep, we're gonna pretty much comb through this thing with a with a fine with a finely uh, fine tooth comb. Exactly, a fine comb and a cut and the whatever acid rounds I still have left on my holster. You know, and... it's very it's very lucky you had just enough slots for these three random herbs that are just suddenly growing in this metallic environment. Yeah, I mean, around. I mean, it'd be a it'd be a serious problem if he had no, I don't know two less slots. They like leaving them around, but nice. So while we're going through this, um, I can say that as of recording this, uh, I now have a. A bit, I, I now have a little more appreciation for the series as a whole since I've been playing the Resident Evil remake uh, in between these sessions, and uh, uh, I will save uh, I'll save my other like you know thoughts on that remake when we actually do it. But for now, I will say that it's still a pretty cool remake, and I and I think to sum up in a sentence that a friend and I were talking about earlier, I like that the. Re nice. I love I love that the remake is not a replacement for this game. Oh no, yeah. no! All it, it's really just there as a means to you know give a little bit more to those that did play the original, or you know maybe it's your first time playing it. There's plenty of scares to go around. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what's our so what's our main objective now, James? Now that we came back from the guardhouse. So honestly, now that we do that, now that we have the, I'm trying to think. We got the helmet key from Plant Forty Two, right? I think so. Yeah, we and we escaped and we evaded the sharks. Okay, to turn so, on the water pump or something. So we so we pretty much used the helmet key to um, again examine through some other pla some of the other portions of the house we couldn't get through previously, mm. and in the process uh, we came across Yawn again and got a passcode which we needed to activate this mechanism on the west wing. Which thankfully the game actually oh hey what's that out the window? We came across him again. Oh Yawn. Oh jackpot! Our <gasps> ticket out of here. Oh yeah. We can... <sighs> Dang it, Matt. Yeah, so yeah, we can tell the Alpha Team or the Alpha Team helicopter to land there. If you could hear us, hopefully he's still there by the time we get there. Hopefully. Pick me up in three also, days. you're welcome. <laughs> dude, I, yeah. dude, I, I just realized, I just realized, no way could we dead rising. I, I would not want to be here for three days. Oh Lord, no. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. No, it'd be worse. Oh, oh and I love oh, this. Boy. Look at this poor zombie right here. He's he's, he's kicking read. over this freaking stool. <laughs> I think you just pick out. Let, let, let's just leave. Hey, look, he's looking at this scrapbook. Crappin Let's see. Raccoon, Raccoon Times, Times, May 27th, 1998. Remember that this game initially came out in 96. Uh-huh. May 20th, around 10 p.m. A 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Er, excuse me, Raccoon City. Uh -huh. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly, grizzly or other animal's doing due to teeth marks along the woman's arms and a severed left foot, which suggests considerable power. Does it really uh -huh. matter if you say raccoon or raccoon? I'm sure it's... Well, that's how that's how Jill pronounced it in uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. True. Weird. Monsters in the Arclay Mountains. Some people pronounce it that way. Some right. people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. That's oh, how they're right now. These monsters are allegedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in packs as wolves do. And they mm. sound like a group of wild dogs, but these monsters are supposedly very fierce and very resistant to attacks. I uh, unless say, on yeah, say unless you have a knife on hand. It is said that they won't bother people unless they are provoked, so it may be advisable to remain out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being until this issue has been cleared up. Please. But for all you thrill-seekers out there, this may be your chance for some adventure. What? And, of course, not long afterwards, Mountain Road blocked because of idiots. 
I'm not gonna lie. Shortly I was after, really, idiots. I was really hoping that that would have transitioned into this, like, this is your chance for adventure. Come on down. <laughs> and uh, this, this, ad, this, ad, this ad has been bought and paid for by the Umbrella Hello, Corporation. and welcome to another exciting episode of Fear Factor. I'm it's your that... host, Albert Wesker, and this is Kick-Ass. And so I know, that we're I know that we're talking over this last bit, but I also love the way that James mentioned that, yeah, it's got close to by idiots. I would love one time for a news anchor to go online, to go on live for, like, a, for a news broadcast and go, uh, all right, th oh, this shit, just, he's, he's, he's made it, he's, he's, he's loose. He's broken the barrier, get rid of him. Oh. There you go. But yeah, no, I just, one news anchor to just go up there and say, this just in, idiots. More at 11. <laughs> He's just he's just somehow on top of like a space needle overlooking the earth. Idiots. <laughs> all of that, them. That's Wesker, just he's a idiot. Idiots. All of them. I look forward oh. to saturating every one of them. What's so, this James? Jill, like the rest of us, has suddenly noticed that peculiar button on top of this magnificent statue's bosom. That hmm. turns on a light. A bust but uh, I'm not gonna finish that. So the light does what? It basically shows us where we should push the statue here. Okay. Past the bust of the bust. Pretty much. So, um, you you will want to do this because this actually unlocks a, one of three keys we'll need to unlock the best ending. Oh, that's right, yeah. Then there are, there, we got to you about the endings. Uh, Matt, do you have, like, a particular, like, do, do you usually go for the best ending, Matt, or is it, like, tricky? I go for the best ending all the time. If, uh, all right. like... In the remake, if Barry dies, I always try and make sure Barry survives. And okay. so we have our first oh. Mo disc. What's a Mo disc? Mask. That's the robot from Wally. -E. None of Mo business. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, but yeah, there's three of these in the entire game. We'll need them for the last portion of the or the last area of the game, and well, more on that later. Because to be fair, I think at least two two out of the uh, six of us currently here don't haven't seen this game from beginning to end. Yeah, Sorry, just, but we're gonna I, learn. So I, I just make that joke. I'm reminded of something me, Andrew, and Zach did for the Sonic and Knuckles show, where it's like, "Oh, it's Nanya, as in Nanya business." Well, that's a lot of business. <laughs> that's a bit. That sounds like a very well put together company, Nanya. And I must oh. say, this is a very old fashioned elevator. Almost that takes us this. straight to the basement. Ooh. Sorry to say, though, folks, no ass trumpets here. There's the song. <laughs> and, Jill, and Jill is immediately disinterested. It's like I don't want none of this. I'm glad right. to hear the warrior sympathy. But, no, that that was that was the good one. Sympathy. I I have a hard time. I have a hard time nice. between the two words. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yes. What's up, Matt? That was the good song, though. It is the good song. Yay. And yet you why, forgot is, to grab which this. Why, which is why this this port loses a few points because everyone loves the ass sympathy. I don't! <laughs> so <let's take laughs> yeah, we came back here because I forgot the battery here, which we're gonna need. Alright, everyone. In a one, in a two. No. In a wah, wah, but yeah, wah, wah, wah. So, so the so yeah, we just need to so I hear what you're saying, we need to take this to the courtyard because now we can use that elevator that was out by the drained water place. That's correct. Okay. So anyway, so uh how was everyone's Ooh. evening then? It's, All right, um, it's going pretty well so far. I'm hanging in there. Finally, got caught up on like a really big like voiceover gig that I've been kind of like not procrastinating on, but it took me a yeah. while to finish because the yeah. character in general is. Okay. I pretty much took all my footage and compiled it. I had to record close to an hour and a half of an obnoxious clown. Also, can we just oh. appreciate this great song? Actually, this is like oh, yeah, no, this song in this general is, a, is good. Yeah, this is one of the few, like, legitimately terrifying songs in the series. If not the only one. Yeah, it's locked. Nuts. That's actually... Remember that hole I went down earlier after we fought Yawn the second time? It would yes. actually lead to right here. Oh, and we, and we could have, like, reset... Okay, I gotcha. So, but, with that uh, said, we can't go that way, so how about we go this way? Oh, you trigger this, uh... Yeah, because I remember this. I remember this happens for me like way earlier in Resident Evil Remake, unless it just always happens at this point. And I love how the zombie just has enough brains to open up the door. And thus, we got a backup. Okay. Now the game considers this a super zombie, but Stoop. he's still an absolute chump with a shotgun. Wow. <laughs> uh, I am the superior zombie, and ow my head. So the superior zombies are gray in color. I guess. All right. Better than crimson heads. Which, yeah, no, the Crimson Heads were primarily a remake thing. Sorry, Logan. Oh. 
fun. So I mean, I, I mean, for what I played with that so far, I, I I am still I am enjoying my time with it, and I look forward to suffering with the Chris uh, scenario. Because I mean, if I had to put into words, like at least if I had to put into one word the reason why. Oh, hello. The... oh crap! I almost forgot you were here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh boy. If I. Oh, she's careful. Oh, oh. Right. Ow. Yeah, if they, if, they, if, they, if they hit me with their mean right hook, that's an instant kill. Yep. Let's be careful. Nice. But yeah, no, if I had to put into words, like, why, like, at least one word, why the Cresnario is just going to be kind of rough for me, uh, it would be tedium. Yeah, because here... Because I'm, because here... I'm going to have to keep going, because 98% of the stuff I'm editing is going to be me going back and forth between the safe box and, you know, back to where I actually am. Yeah. Oh, deja vu. Anyway, none of, no need to worry about that crap no more. Yep, we can just move on along. I'll be right uh, back. How about, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Man, I was about to ask. Oh, oh, oh not you! I forgot we left these here. You too! I saw spiders. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so, anyway, we'll, like I said, um, um, I'll ask her again when she gets back. Of, oh, boy. I'll ask her again when <laughs> hey she there, gets back. Let's come right for us. Oh, my God. Nice. This guy's resilient. Oh. Actually, anyway, wow. um, yeah, one shotgun. Yeah, that's a good Hold idea. on, hold on, Jordy. Right. What did you say? Oh, I just said he was resilient. Anyway, continue, Steve. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I was actually about to get back to that question of like, I'll have to wait till later till Silly gets back. But how has your day been, Jordan? My day's been okay. A couple things have happened this past week. One, mm -hmm. my sister Ooh. came to visit me, and she recently went home for Aww. you know Easter and whatnot. I beat well, Balan Wonder. Trip. Yeah, thank you. I beat Balan Wonder World, and well, it left me a mess, a an oh. emotional mess. Yeah, uh, we were able to cheer her up before we started. Yeah, yeah. and more, uh, on, more on that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that when we record. But uh, mm -hmm. and I got my vaccine shot yesterday, and I haven't really experienced any symptoms, so I'm feeling pretty good. Well, I mean, good. just a little tired. I was about to say, didn't you okay. say you also had like a, a, a bit of a weird feeling in your arm too? Yeah. Well, it tenses up I your muscle. Weird... Well, yeah, it's a weird feeling in my arm, and for some weird reason, I have this weird tingle in my index finger. Another huh. symptom of the P virus. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, no, the P honestly, virus, you dingus. Honestly, wouldn't it be more the C virus now? Probably. Nah. I mean, it's also, it's also funny because actually, I look back no, no, on, no, I, no, I, no, 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 no. It's the C what? serum. Oh, you're right. It is the C serum. Anyway, I hope you all made sure to bring back, bring back, the, bring back the crank that we used earlier to uh, open up this uh, lock, this uh, da this dam blocker. Yeah, because we need to put it back so we can move forward. Close crank the gate. It. Close in the gate. And there, now we can move. Now we can Close move the port, Collis. And now we can put this thing away for good. Unfortunately, assuming you, assuming you're going for the best time possible. You're probably just gonna have to keep it on your keep it on your person for now until we reach our next toolbox. Going this way. I mean, I already looked it up. Like, at, at least as far as the remake is concerned, like if you want to get the best time, you have to like skip every cutscene you possibly can. Um, never like you know try and cut back uh, backtracking, and they even count pause time to that timer. Jeez, that's yep. nasty. Mm. Yeah, no. So, literally, if you want to get the best time in the game, one sitting, one go. Good luck. No but saves. But, in but you get a cool hey, fairy. Ooh. What good timing. But you get a cool rocket launcher if you do it though. I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Really? Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, okay. so this is the next thing that that dictates the ending. First of all, you're going to want her to come with you. Let's go. Okay. Then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Right. Are you all right? I can go first if you want. Do we do it? For um uh, for this sake, no. Cause he's gonna get flattened I, or something. I said I, no. I, you know what? I'm not sure if that's the case, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens. Because yes, this what we're the area we're about to go into right now is kind of very. It's very much a budgeted Indiana Jones set. Right. I remember Chris has to deal with this later. Basically, play the Indiana Jones theme when it appears, but just do the kazoo version. What? Is, it, is there a kazoo version? I the bet there way. is! <gasps> oh, boy. oh, that Magnum kicks ass. Yeah. See, Jill, I'm right behind you. Oh, so that's why you'd want to go him to tag along with you just well like that. Same as I am. Uh, maybe. I mean, that too. 
That's it. Barry, uh, that's not Barry? the way to go. I thought I saw a nickel. No. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, he's not very smart. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. We found Enrico. Yeah. You're alive. There's yeah. that line. Are you with anybody, Jill? Yeah. yeah. What? <gasps> oh yes. Ah, we just found the Enrico. captain of Bravo team. Ah. Oh. So, Barry and Jill together. And I said, a tree. Okay. Right and he's there. like, I, I, let's 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 let's, re let's recover, dude. The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. <gasps> oh. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! Oh. Oops. He said too much. <laughs> Who the hell shot him? Who do you, do you think? think? Well, according to according to uh, one of our favorite comic artists, uh, apparently Boba Fett. I'm going to guess oh. that's not it. <laughs> So from the, so now that we've activated that scene, Barry's going to stick around here to check up on uh, to investigate the dead body. And mm. his, his his usefulness in this section is pretty much finished. Wow. Well, no, it won't. You're on your, sorry, Jill. You're on your own now. Well, no matter. We'll just have to investigate and figure out who shot him for, and ran off. So the question now the question becomes who shot first? What the? Well, and who the, dropped this? It's our square it's crank. crank. Oh no, it's a different crank. It's a different crank, which has a different colored handle. And if you examine it real quick, you'll notice that this one has a different indentation. Huh. Also, I'm so sorry. You said who shot first. It made me think of where shot second. I don't know. Shot. <laughs> I don't well, know. Uh, He's on third. And I don't give a darn. Oh, okay. I don't give a darn. Who's on first? I'm back. There you go. Oh, Welcome back, Sammy. By the way, every every time somebody does like the who shot first, Greed or Han, I still remember my favorite response of uh, that one guy asking uh, Harrison Ford. Just it's like, so who do you think shot first, Han or Greedo? Uh, I don't care. Oh, yeah. it's, it's just simple. It's just it's a movie anyway. So what what is this puzzle? Uh, I don't know what this puzzle oh. is. It's oh, just it's just items. Give us some first aid spray oh, and uh, some extra uh, explosive rounds for your bazooka. The fate spray. Yep, basically. But yeah, um, now that you're back, how has your day been, Seely? Uh, I'm tired, but I'm okay. And I, think, I, I know, I think... I know, I've been tired a lot lately. I'm getting a sleep study done next week. Okay, good. Probably by, good by the way, what do you think of this bossy-looking interior design that we're currently rummaging through? Reminds me of those old, uh... Oh my gosh, what does it remind me of? Like those old 90s computer games? Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. it's funny because that Resident Evil, in, in terms of gameplay, was heavily inspired by a much earlier, like, do, like MS-DOS sort of game called uh, Alone in the Dark. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! No, pre because... Well, okay, you say inspired, pretty much ripped off wholesale. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, more or less, yeah. No, Alone no, 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 no. What, what you mean to say is, they made it better. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. Did, they did improve upon a lot, but they, they yeah. absolutely improved upon a lot. But I will agree that in terms of the fixed camera, like tank controls, things Alone in the Dark was definitely, I think, the first survival horror to do that. Oh yeah, definitely. oh yeah, like it definitely, like as far as a game goes, it does its job very well. How do you think it'd be as a movie? Oh, I, I oh god, that we had, a, we, had a, we had we, we had some fun with it. If I remember, it had it had a decent action scene, but it definitely I just remember the same people. I remember the same rip, the same riffs people threw at it that they did the reboot game. Is that you're neither alone nor in the dark? Yeah. Why is this called Alone in the Dark? <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm just reminded of one of my favorite lines from the Nostalgic oh, Eric review. Oh, what is that. this? Oh. Wow, look at the size of this boulder. I sure wish Chris was here right now. Oh, I would love to punch those things. Oh, and I see why did doing. I turn into Mickey Mouse? Ho -ho. But no, um... Smart. Yeah, got to Uh-oh. <gasps> <Well, well. gasps> oh, look, a penny! <laughs> Literally. You better have played oh, the zoo version. Anyway, It wasn't um... a penny at all. But no, uh, I still remember... Also, this song right here, this is the only time it plays, and I don't know why. It's a good song, that's the thing. Oh, oh boy. Also, I love, I, I co come here to, to approach this explosive round and suddenly, and then the hunter just comes and is like, Hey, who's, who's purging my stash? <laughs> no. I love how you just care off screen. You know what the thing about this song is? I love this song. This is, this is not a Resident Evil song. This is like a Dragon Quest song. Kind of, yeah. Maybe. 
Anyway, so, through, anyway, oh. that rock actually pretty much destroyed, pretty much opened up a new pathway for us, which leads us to our next big boss fight. Oh yay! Uh -oh. One of the most sinister of the lot, a giant spider. Oh yay! Look oh, at it, and dead. Oh what? yeah, no, that's one wow. of the funniest shit. If you have the uh, fire grenade, yeah, it goes down like a bitch. Good. Oh jeez, but it lets babies. Oh boy. But be careful though, because it does because its babies do get spawned afterwards. In which case, just leave the other way oh. and it's Whoa. Gone. Wow, they picked it apart real clean. Man, that spider went quick. busy. Also, around here is where you would find an, a secondary knife in case you decide to leave yours back in the toolbox, because you're gonna need that to bust bust through this web. Also, I am going to uh Or I There you go. There you go. Almost. I think actually you, you can do this. I think you could also just burn it with your um Flame rounds. I was gonna say, yeah, that would probably. Can I really quick finish what I was saying earlier about? Yes, the... now, Go ahead. yes, about the nostalgia cooking line yeah, yeah. about Alone the, in the, the Dark. The one again. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of NC anymore. His recent stuff has went downhill. I still like his old stuff. So I love that one. Yeah. Like when he reviewed uh, Alone in the Dark with uh, Spoolie and Linkara. Just the one joke goes like, "So, do you want to watch Alone in the Dark with a group in the daylight?" Sounds great. <laughs> totally looking forward to it. Good deal. <laughs> I like to wear women's clothing. I like. Um, I fucking... Oh, he started using voice to text for everybody. No, no, no. Yeah. So it was just for him because, to be fair, while they were recording that, he got laryngitis. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That sucks. I felt the mm. nausea yeah. signal in the sky. Do 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 do. Why did I ah. install that? <laughs> that happens. I'll be right back, guys. Sure. Okay. Thing. okay. Yeah. That, that's that's one of the reviews I go back and watch. Also, I still watch Linkara. Uh, because he's... Oh, hello, snakes. only snakes. Oh, ho, ho. A lot of snakes. Speaking Sna of, speaking of, speaking, speaking of a B-rated Indiana Jones set. I did have to be, anyway. I wonder if they're ever, do you think they're ever going to try and bring back the Indiana Jones, like, a second time? Yes, they are. They're still trying to make a new Indiana Jones Oh, that's, movie. It, yeah, it was like an origin, it was like a young Indiana no, Jones movie. that's what it? they were planning, now they're Ooh. just going to do another sequel with Harrison Ford. Uh, Alright, round two, baby. Again? Yeah, but let's be fair, this one will probably be better. Don't ask me how it suddenly has the it has the fucking Ooh. inertia and oh, inertia oh, oh. and um, gravity to push itself forward like that without any sort of um, you know, catalyst. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a giant shift or a giant Chris. I'm part of the B virus. Ha, huh. it's a map the, the B underground. virus. Oh, perfect. Oops. And with that we already really have useful. the map of the underground when honestly all it's really helpful for in this case is showing off that one secret area just a little ways down. Oh, we got our second key. Mm -hmm. Our second low disc. And uh, we're gonna get. And now we're gonna have one last use out of that hexagonal crank we found earlier. Okay. And so, I know. And I know what you guys are thinking. Imagine if, say, the mansion up, the mansion up above, you know, actually had people living in it. Think of how. <laughs> think of all the fucking ruckus this is causing them. It's like, oh my gosh. You know, so, so how? So how does this work? Like, so when that's happening, is that a like cutscene, or do you have to actually like? Tell when to stop. It's a cutscene. Which, fun fact, since we're playing the DS version, I could totally skip this. Ah, uh, well, well, now, well, now you can do it now. Welcome back. Oh, back. We're, we're, we're finding a secret passage. Dang it, Sheely! <sighs> there you go. I'm secret so sorry. Found. I need to sweep after this. Damn, this snake. Oh, uh, this to. snake has been getting everyone. Damn. So, wait a second, Sealy. Are you telling us that you've been the giant snake all along? You're Yawn. His name is Yawn. We don't know why. What the? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah that's French. Stop saying yawn! You're making it contagious! And now, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a that, certain... That last one was actually fake. It's okay, hey, I continue. On, hey, wait, wait, hang on, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, James. Wait, hold, I was saying, hold up, Matt. James, what were you saying? What's how this, how's this going? This is a puzzle that makes you wish there was a pull function in this game. Yeah. Well... Yeah, yeah, it really would have helped. I really would have fixed this problem right away. But okay, I'm whatever, sorry, we did that, it. Nice. That must have been a good yawn. That must have been a good fake yawn if it was okay. contagious. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> guys, stop it! Hey, Jordan, 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 man, I wish we were doing Hold this on. while yawn was still a thing. <laughs> Hold on, what, Jordy. Matt, what? Yawn. <laughs> it's fat. doom. J Look, Matt. I hate Matt. you all. I hate Matt. you. All. Matt, no, shush. Look, it's Doom. Let's let's just enjoy this nice time out with our second Doom book. Please! Well, that's a crappy ending. <laughs> the second oh, well. age. Cool. We got the... Oh, yeah, the Eagle and the Wolves. Now we have the Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. We got it. Yep, now we have access to our final level of the game. 
Eagle of the East, Wolf to the West, show me the lab that I love the best. Next time. What? Bye. What? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Bye. Yawn!